Pêche et Océan Canada collabore avec l'industrie de l'aquaculture afin de lui permettre de fonctionner de manière responsable et durable. Son équipe de techniciens en recherche se dirige vers une région où les saumons sont élevés dans des cages en suspension en eau libre. Ils doivent récupérer des données provenant d'un réseau de récepteurs de surveillance acoustique qui ont été placés à des endroits stratégiques le long de la côte sud de Terre-Neuve. Ces récepteurs submergés perçoivent et enregistrent les signaux acoustiques provenant de saumons de l'Atlantique élevés auparavant dans des cages et sur lesquels on a placé des émetteurs spéciaux afin de les libérer dans la nature, dans le cadre d'une étude de trois ans visant à déterminer où vont les poissons après s'être échappés des parcs en filets aquacoles. Dans le cadre du programme de recherche sur la réglementation de l'aquaculture, ce projet contribue à une plus grande initiative de recherche scientifique menée au Canada atlantique pour étudier les interactions génétiques entre les saumons sauvages et les saumons d'élevage, des efforts qui visent à mieux comprendre les risques et à améliorer d'un point de vue général le caractère durable de l'industrie. Dunya Hamoutine est à la tête du projet. What we do is we simulate escapes. We have a certain number of fish that we tag, and then we have deployed receivers in some strategic areas, uh, and we basically detect whether they went through that area or not. Curtis Pennell explique comment les saumons sont marqués puis libérés. We'll start off and we'll put the fish in an anesthetic bath. Uh, once the fish loses its equilibrium, uh, we'll take them up. We'll do weights and measurements. 64.5, We're going to make a small incision, two to three centimeters on the belly of the fish. We're going to insert an acoustic tag. Uh, once that's inserted, uh, we're going to uh, close the incision with two sutures, uh, take a scale sample for aging, we'll take a small fin clip for DNA analysis. Uh, we're going to stick an external tag in the back of the fish that will identify the fish if someone uh, captures it. And then we're going to leave the fish uh, to recover for a few minutes before we release them back into the wild. The particular questions we are answering is, if you have an escape in the environment around a, a fin fish uh, cage operation, where would the escapees go? How fast? Uh, would they behave differently? Different seasons? Are they reaching the rivers? How fast are they reaching them? Could we recapture them? Are we seeing different behaviors because of different sizes? What we are concerned about is that when a farmed escapee interbreeds with the wild population, that you will change the genetic makeup of the progeny. And therefore, you might alter the adaptation of this future progeny to the river. It might impact their ability then to be successful within this river environment. You know, we're tagging different sizes of fish, and uh, the other aspect as well is we're, we're doing that at different times of year because you might, you have a seasonal component in the behavior of the fish. Uh, therefore, we have to understand, you know, if the escapees uh, are behaving differently in the spring versus the winter. Et les résultats de cette recherche seront pris en considération au moment de décider les meilleures façons de gérer l'industrie. In the management of, that, of the industry, we focus on escape prevention. Jeff Perry, directeur de la gestion de l'aquaculture dans la région de Terre-Neuve et Labrador, explique. If we can understand where fish go uh, when they escape from farms, we can target mitigation measures or recapture measures. So we might be able to develop say, fisheries measures that will be targeted at removing escaped fish from the environment. This project is important to, to the Canadian public because the more we understand about the effect of an industry on, on the environment itself, the, the more successful we can make this industry. This has to be successful on all levels. It has to be successful commercially, but it has to be successful within the environment it is set in.